So I'm super interested to hear more. I want to start off by just hearing, how'd you get into this space, right? I think you mentioned you've been doing this for like seven or eight years. Mm -hmm. How'd you get into the print on demand business? Oh, dude, that's a long story. Uh, I'll condense it. So 11 years ago, I started my first uh, e-commerce store <clears throat> away from Shopify, annoyingly, because Shopify was pretty cheap. But anyway, I spent $35,000 on a website that I didn't need to spend that sort of money on before I even got into running ads and setting up products and all that kind of stuff. But um, that that failed. And then that sort of like three years rolled around where I was, uh, you know, I was $120,000 in debt from all the ads I'd been running on Facebook. Didn't really know what I was doing. And I just, I knew that I, I had to pay it back. I didn't want to go bankrupt, right? So my whole thing was like, I need to pay these supplies back. I need to, to pay off these credit cards, solicitors, debt collectors calling me left, right and center. So just this huge pressure over 18 months to two years. And um, I just always knew there was something out there that would allow me to, to pay off these bills quite quickly. Didn't know what it was. I knew it was online and I just went about trying to find what it was and just being open to the opportunities that came through. And, and in my news feed, there was a, a Facebook page course coming through for how to sell t-shirts online and they were the the sort of dollars that they were talking about making like tens of thousands of dollars in very short amount of time i was like that's bullshit like the opportunity like too good to be true there's no way they're doing that right and um i i left that go for about six months and just kept on showing up obviously retargeting was um you know rudimentary back then but it worked because i ended up buying the course and very quickly I, I started dabbling like, you know, uh, a few shady niches and I was like, this doesn't feel good. I don't want to do it. But then we, we found success pretty quickly uh, in the biker niche initially. And our first success was like a hundred shirts of about a hundred dollars. Not sorry. It was yeah. A hundred shirts of a hundred dollars. So we made about a thousand bucks sort of thing. And um, it sort of just blew our mind. We're like, holy crap, there's, there's money to be made in this. And then it went into about three weeks later, we did $300,000 in three weeks of $100,000. And that's like, that's not Shopify revenue. That's like profit that, that this time was Teespring that they'd pay us off the top. So we'd made effectively $200,000 between my business partner and I off $100,000 in ad spend. We're like, holy shit, like this is insane. And like the payout started coming into PayPal and, it was it was a wild ride, and then we backed it up when we translated everything into German and went over to Europe and did a hundred thousand dollars in ten days, and that just kept us in the industry. We're like, all right, we'll we'll put some focus in here, and um, just been here ever since. So, Ronnie, for the listeners that might not know what print on demand is, can you explain the business model a little bit? Yeah, for sure. So, print on demand means you never have to touch the products that you're selling which is amazing because you don't have to worry about the inventory cost, the warehousing. And all things that go along with it, like the dead stock that just doesn't move. So print on demand allows you to just create like designs on a shirt. And you've got to, the, the, the trick is to, to connect to a niche. And the good thing with TikTok is that a lot of creators, you know, do have specific niches and they can easily create, you know, products, whack it on a shirt. Like if they've got a, a catchphrase or, or whatever it may be, even their brand name, and people are really, really passionate about it, then they put it on a shirt and just have an offer there for them to buy it. So when somebody buys, somebody else facilitates that transactions, they, they, they print it and they ship it on your behalf sort of thing, and you get paid the commission or the profit. 